well, we still suck. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Tay here, and I'm back with another video. And today is Monday, so you already know it's Team of the Week preview day. This week is gonna be a little weird. A lot of big names didn't really go off. Uh, it was a lot of like no, not no names, but like guys, lesser known guys, and just like some guys you didn't really think about. So this week, I might be a little off on a lot of these cars. So we were pretty good last week. We actually predicted a uh, defensive. Uh, we actually predicted the defensive player for the like uh, flashback type things, whatever they're doing. So that was pretty good. So let's get right into the video. Make sure you hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. We're on a road to a thousand subscribers. We're pretty close, man. We're at 800 right now. So all y'all do is just hit that like, hit that subscribe. Helps the channel out a lot. Let's get right into it. All right, so I want to start off with some quick honorable mentions. And I want to start off with them guys that killed, that killed my birds. Chase Claypool. This is the thing. I don't think he's gonna get like an amazing car. Like, I don't think he's gonna get a 90 overall car, but I wouldn't be surprised if he did it. The reason why he's like a, he's a receiver, he's pretty fast and he's 6'4". Again, you already know how I feel about EA, they, they wanna make their money. And I feel like if you drop the 90 overall Chris Claypool, a lot of people will try to open up packs for it. He would probably be like 6'4", 91, 92 speed. So I think he would be really tough. The thing is, I think realistically, we're seeing about like an 80 to 83 overall car, probably with good speed. He probably has like 88, 89 speed for like an 83, 84 car. Um, but I don't think they're gonna give him a 90 overall, but I'll be surprised. No, but I just don't see it happening. Also, I wanna talk about my man Fulgham from the Burrs. He actually had a big game. I don't think he's even in the game. But he had a big game. He had like 10 receptions, 100 yards. I haven't even seen an Eagles wide receiver do that in a very long time. But he actually went off. I could definitely see him getting like a little quick, like 78 overall card or whatever. Uh, he definitely deserved a card. I don't think he's. I don't even think he's even in the game. So I could definitely see him getting a card as well. Now I think Brandon Cooks might actually get an upgrade. He actually had a big game yesterday. I think he had like eight catches, 100 plus yards, and a touchdown. I can definitely see him getting like a plus one boost to his card. So if he had the 90 overall, he goes to a 91. I can definitely see that. I don't see him obviously getting a hero because he already has a 90 overall card. But I can definitely see Brandon Cooks getting the card. He had a really big game. And again, there really wasn't no big names that had a good game. So Brandon Cooks would sell, get his card at 92 speed. A lot of people will definitely want to get that. I know he already had a team of the week card in the previous weeks. But again, it wasn't really anything crazy. It was just a plus one to his power up. So again, Josh Jacobs had a good game, beat the undefeated Kansas City Chiefs that are the Super Bowl defending champs. He had like two touchdowns. Really good game by Josh Jacobs. I think it's time for them to actually give him a good card. So I would not be surprised if Josh Jacobs got like a, uh, a hero card. It would be a nice little running back. He wouldn't be the fastest. As you can see, he has 81 speed on his core lead. So I can see this car being like an 88, 89 speed type of running back with like really good trucking and all that. But I think Josh Jacobs has a chance to get another Team of the Week card. This might be my surprise hero. I think Ryan Fitzpatrick has a chance to go hero. And this is why I think it's a good thing. He's a field general. You know how I feel about the field generals. Go back and watch my top five standout players. I talk about field general a lot and how good it is. But if Ryan Fitzpatrick has field general, I think a lot of people will open up packs for him. He would be able to get the hot route master ability, which is really crucial. Uh, it saves a lot of AP points, so they gave him a 90 overall card. He would be able to get it, and a lot of people will open up packs for him. And it's Ryan Fitzpatrick. Let's just get crazy. Get Ryan Fitzpatrick the hero card. Let's just let's just get crazy. Phil General QB. I, I wouldn't mind a Fitzpatrick card, honestly, especially with Phil General. He would be definitely good. So I, I can see that's my that's my guess for the hero. I think Ryan Fitzpatrick might be the offensive hero. And another guy I think that might have a chance is Jared Goff. Again, Jared Goff had another good game. He Yo, the Rams are quietly having a really good season. Offensively, they're really showing out. But Jared Goff, another field general QB. If I think he would get a upgrade to 90 raw, he would be pretty good again with the hot route master ability. Uh, I could see him, but I think Ryan Fitzpatrick might get it. I feel like he always gets like a good team of the week card like every year. So I can see Ryan Fitzpatrick getting it, but if he doesn't get it, I can see Jared Goff getting it as well. I did not forget about you Panthers fans out there. Mike Davis, like, dude, since Christian McCaffrey been hurt, he's basically just picked up the role, like, pretty easily. And they're on a roll. They're winning, like, I believe they won three in a row already. I like what, I like what I'm seeing from Carolina, man. They're, I, I like the team. I like the team, man. I really like the team. But Mike Davis, 
absolutely is just insane right now. I, what, I don't know what they're going to do if Christian McCaffrey comes back. Like, is he going to get that lion's share of the carries again? Or are they going to, like, split it up? Because Mike Davis is balling out. Uh, I actually wanted the birds to pick him up when Chicago released him. But Mike Davis, a really good card. I can actually see him getting a good card, like an 85, 86 overall card. He deserves it, man. He's been balling out since Christian McCaffrey's been hurt. So, yo, EA, make sure y'all give Mike Davis. Show Mike Davis some love tomorrow. And another guy I didn't get a card upgrade is Ezekiel Elliott. I can definitely see him just getting like a plus one card upgrade. Uh, Ezekiel Elliott had a nice little game against the Giants. Prayers to my man Dak, man. That injury is really nasty. You really hate to see that, honestly. So hopefully Dak comes back and balls on the league again. But I can definitely see Ezekiel Elliott getting a card. Uh, he had a really good game. It's just this week is a little weird. It's just not like all like it's not like the previous weeks. Like we had Odell had a big game, so you kind of knew he was gonna get a card. It's not really big. The big name players really didn't make do anything and some of them lost. So I don't want to kind of include them. I like to include some people that lost, but not all of them. So I'm trying to pick the guys that won in the games. So not all the big name players won. So there's not really a lot of guys to pick from. So this is going to be a little weird week here. I quickly want to talk about the legends or slash flashback team of the week cars. They th dropped the hint and talk about one QB has like 35 rushing touchdowns. I believe it's out of two people and that is going to be Randall Cunningham or Cam Newton. I think it's going to be, I don't know. I think it's going to be Randall Cunningham to be honest. So as you can tell, probably the thumbnail has got Randall Cunningham on it. So I think it's going to be Randall Cunningham. And for the defensive team of the week, it's going to be tough because we just I actually guessed it right last week. I said OCU Miura, so I guessed one right. That's I can't believe I did that. But for next week, well, for tomorrow, I think we're going to get a linebacker. We got a pass rush. We got a corner the week before. I think we're going to go back to the linebacker here. So, again, I say Brian, Brian Erlacher, but he may be in the most feared promo, so I don't know. Uh, Patrick Willis again, but most feared again. Uh, so I don't know. I think it's, it's going to be a linebacker. Let me know who you think is going to be the defensive uh, legend or flashback, whatever you want to call it. And some defensive players, you know, I don't really talk about them. I know Aaron Donald had like three, four sacks. So he's definitely got to get an upgrade for something like, holy crap. I, he just, he just, this dude is a monster. He's absolutely a monster. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Probably one of my quicker ones. It's just because it's not really a lot of guys out there. So. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and let me know who you think should get a Team of the Week card down in the comment section. It's your boy Tay, and I'm out. Peace.